Nolagen here, and I've got a package from the Paris, Texas Apparel Co. What's in the box? Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. So actually I'm already wearing what was in the box. So I got one of these uh, super fancy San Cristobal Explora La Buena Vida. Well, Barra shirts here. So this is the uh, Stars and Stripes version. Now if you notice, there's the pleats on either side, but then on the pockets, no pleat. The pleats start again. And then down here on the second pocket on this side, no pleats, and then the pleats start again. So that's uh, a little lack of pleats like my experience with some other very much cheaper Kai Beras have the design on. Now, this uh, Kai Beras has got a nice quality to it as it's uh, made out of a very nice dress shirt material. So, it does have a nice little different and better quality look about it in many ways as that dress shirt material kind of makes it stand out and be a little bit different than a lot of the other designs of Guy Beras. However, for the price difference, uh, you know, you're not exactly getting that much more for what this is ultimately. And uh, this is definitely gonna need ironing. So you have to iron this thing to take care of it and then it does tend to wrinkle pretty well, which I don't understand why they made it out of this fabric because there's plenty of 100% cotton garments and dress shirts these days that have a no iron treatment applied to it that keeps them looking very crisp for a very long time. So I'm not quite sure why they uh, chose to go with the uh, lack of a no iron treatment on here. I don't think it really improves the breathability in my experience. So let's compare some other guy Veras I have to this one. Now here's a Cuba Vera. And I've got to say, I got this one on sale just like I got the San Cristobal one on sale. The price difference is so substantial, you could probably buy four or five of these Guy Barra shirts for just one of the San Cristobal shirts. And, uh, you know, it's not that big of a difference in quality. In some ways, this one has some nicer features. It's got little fancy buttons that are added in different places. Got little buttons on the side over here, buttons on the back. And uh, the pleats on either side. Continue down through the pockets, both the upper and lower pockets. So you get a little more consistency with the pleating. So it's uh, in some ways a much better value and you're definitely getting a uh, bit more bang for your buck overall, I'd say, and it's uh, kind of more breathable and you really don't have to iron it that much. If you wash it, throw it in the dryer, it comes out pretty much ready to wear. So I've got to say that the uh, Cuba Vera seems to put out a pretty good quality product. Now I'm wearing an extra large in this. I tried an extra large in the San Cristobal and it was like a tent on me. So downsize to the large, and that's a pretty good fit on me. So I still feel like uh, this has a little more looseness to it, a little more uh, freedom of movement generally, and it's not quite as uh, a tight fit. Uh, it's not the San Cristobal, it's not really a tight fit, it's pretty loose fitting too. This is just a little bit more loose fitting. So it's uh, got bit more ease of movement with your arms, I would say overall, and it also just seems a bit more breathable, honestly. The uh, way they got the embroidery on the other one is uh, got some interior stuff on the inside where they embroidered it that puts another layer that kind of collects a little heat in that area as well. So, you know, it's uh, certainly kind of cool the way the uh, San Cristobal ones look with a unique kind of difference to them from most of the other guy bears you see out there. Uh, but these uh, Cuba Vera ones are overall pretty good quality in my experience. They've held up pretty well. I've had these for a couple of years now. I'm not sure the uh, San Cristobal is going to hold up as long the way it's made. So we'll have to see. It uh, seems a little more delicate in the wash when I put it in there. So we'll uh, have to see how the longevity is. 
And here's another Gaibera from the Cubavera, and this is the cheapest one that they have on sale there. So this one's still very comfortable. It's uh, got all the features you want. The pleating goes all the way down in both pockets. Where this purple one was actually one of their more expensive guy beers that they had at Cuba Vera. So it's uh, got a dress shirt like kind of feel to it. The interior, very nice, very clean overall inside of it, where in contrast, our San Cristobal has the strips of fabric right here that, uh, you know, it doesn't really rub that I noticed, but it is an extra layer of thickness that uh, does hold in maybe a tad bit more heat and maybe gets in the way of the breathability of it. So if it was a really fancy design here, I would have thought they would have continued uh, this little colored pattern on the back as well as that would have uh, you know put a nice little extra touch to set it off so it doesn't exactly continue with the uh, premium feature on the back of it but it looks kind of premium from the front certainly so it's uh, kind of seeing you know the difference over here Seems they're, you know, similar in weight overall. Now this is 100% uh, cotton, I believe. Let's double check the label here. And it is, uh... huh. As much as it wrinkles, I'm guessing it's 100% cotton. I don't really see a label in here where it says what it's made out of. The way it wrinkles though, I'm gonna have to guess that this is mostly cotton, if not 100% cotton. Where, uh, of course, this one is made in China. And this is 75% cotton, 25% polyester and 2% elastine. This is made in Peru. So, um, you know, Peruvian, uh, you know, Peruvian manufacturer is also uh, pretty darn cheap these days, I think. So I would imagine there's quite a profit margin built into this shirt versus this shirt. So no USA made guy bearers it seems yet, but uh, we'll see. They do seem to be a popular design. So we will uh, keep looking to see what other uh, guy berry options are out there. Nolagen here and thanks so much for watching and just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.